Choo here. Today we'll be making ice cream flavored boba pearls. Melina edition. So, let's get to it. So, previous to this filming, I tried to make the Melina mochi and I failed mis I failed miserably. And so, we scratched that and we're gonna make Melina boba pearls instead because it seems a lot easier and it seems really cool. So, but I'll probably put some clips of me failing right now. Popsicle sticks. Some of the rice flour. We're gonna cut into a square. Oh, the ice cream is melting. This is stressful. Then, then we're gonna put the melina inside. Sorry, this is really, this is really stressful. And then we're gonna pinch around it. Yes! Uh. Okay, see, look, there's a problem because the melina is melting. This looks harder, this looks harder than it looks. This looks easy, no, I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, this is a fail. Okay, anyways, how was your week? Oh, sounds wonderful. My week, my week was okay. Melina, Melina, this is Melina. Melina is basically an ice cream bar flavored as honeydew. And it tastes exactly like honeydew, so. Yeah, they got that flavor on point. We're gonna have to melt the melina stick. Olympic ice skating. Go, 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 go. We're gonna add one tablespoon of the tapioca starch. And we're just gonna mix it in. All right, so now that that one tablespoon of tapioca has dissolved mostly. We want to add some tapioca starch. We're just gonna incorporate it even more. And this gets a little messy, you know, but that's fine. Slowly incorporating the tapioca. I'm gonna add a little more. Gonna incorporate it again. Just gonna add more. Okay, I think this is ready to knead onto the table. So let's go do that. Let's put this on our table. So you got our melina, right? Just put it on your clean surface. And now we're just gonna knead it. Much more simple, in my opinion, than the melina mochi. <laughs> Nice, solid, non-sticky dough ball. Very satisfying. Now that we have our nice, beautiful, giant boba ball, we're gonna make sneaks. Let's see if this time, if we can make the boba pearls actually go through the straw. Okay, so this is the straw. This is the boba. Okay, not bad, fits. I think I did a good job this time, hopefully. And we are just going to cut it. Very delicately cut your boba pearls. And we're just gonna roll it. Roll it. Is it focusing? Okay, if it's a little crack like here, just like wet your fingers a bit and it'll go back to a ball shape. Yeah, it's a bit dry now. That's fine, just dip your Fingers in some water, and now it's much better. All right, I'm gonna be back when I'm done. <laughs> all right, so it's been half an hour, and I made all of this gloriousness. We still have this glob left, so just like last time, might as well make a giant boba. <laughs> Am I right, guys? Wonderful. Of course my neighbor is constructing right now. Anyways, 
we got our giant golf ball. <laughs> and we're gonna see how how it tastes. <laughs> okay. I don't know how long he's gonna be drilling for. I was about to drink this. The forbidden water. Do not drink. Alright, we got our boiling water. Into the boiling water, we're gonna put our boba and cook it until it's see-through. And we're gonna put it, oops. <laughs> I hope it doesn't crush any of them. Now we're gonna work on a quick syrup. We got some of the melina. This is one bar. We're gonna add some sugar. And we're just gonna stir it. Stir it until it makes a nice syrup. Syrup is basically done. This is the consistency we want, right? We'll just turn off the heat. All right, it's been like, oops. It's been like 25 minutes and the boba should be done. Now it's not clear because when it gets colder, it'll become clear, but there's like a clear film. So you can sort of see like a, a clear film. The best way to decide if your boba is ready is by trying it. And I already tried it. Oh, we're gonna leave that big one inside to cook a little more, you know? Definitely not done yet. But the little ones are done. Okay, let's just ignore the noise, even though it's so annoying. Here is the syrup. Look at that. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, now we're gonna assemble. I need my trusty goddess. Okay. Look at, look at you putting all the little tadpoles in the cup. Are they tadpoles? I don't know, let's try it. Mm. No, they're not tadpoles, they're boba. They're melina boba. And then we're putting tiger stripes because it looks so cool. Now we're putting icicles and now there's uh, white water inside and there's an ice floating. All right, now let's head to the taste test. Wow. All right, so this is the finished product. And let's begin the taste test. As you can see right here, this is the giant boba. <laughs> okay, let's first try the drink. Wiggle it around. Ooh. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's try it out. <laughs> I'm very excited. I spelt it. Mmm. Wait, that's actually amazing. Nice and chewy, not soggy at all. The melina is really coming through. Mm. This is actually brilliant. Mm. Nice and bouncy. You don't need to use melina. Melina basically tastes like honeydew. So it's like a honeydew boba. But this is very nice cooked to perfection, you know. Not soggy at all. I can actually get some boba pearls through the straw this time, so. Enough of this. <laughs> Let's try this out. Uh, <laughs> a giant boba. Just like the dragon fruit video. Let's try a bite. Cheers. I don't think it's 
cooked through entirely. It's like eating a rubber band. <laughs> giant boba, not my cup of tea. Let's see what it looks like inside. This is what the giant boba looks like inside. But this, this on the other hand, that syrup, that melanin syrup, adds another dimension. Obviously, milk, nice and creamy. Mmm. You should definitely try this out with any type of ice cream you have in stock. All right, so this gets look at you stamp of approval. And I would totally make this again. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post once a week and I'll see you guys.